At this point in the pandemic, while we are less at the mercy of the COVID-19 virus, we aren't quite in total control of it either. What we have is the upper hand. The job now is to keep it. Doing that means closing the vaccination gap and individually remembering that with the Delta variant circulating, first dose is not full protection from COVID-19. This requires full vaccination, which takes two doses and then two weeks to let your body build up best protection. In terms of how we're doing on vaccination, the news is mostly very good. The group with the highest level of first dose vaccination is young people ages 18 to 24. They are almost 90% vaccinated with their first dose. They are approaching the 50% mark for second doses. This is amazing because in many other places, public health units are struggling to get young people to be vaccinated. So I particularly want to acknowledge and thank young people because they're stepping up as real leaders in all of this. And it's a terrific thing to see and a terrific example to everyone of all ages. You should be very proud of yourselves. I know that I'm proud of you. Still, there are a number of age groups where there's a big opportunity to close the vaccination gap. I'm a little concerned, for example, about people from age 35 through age 49 who are still in the low 70s in terms of the percentage of first doses delivered. Above and beyond age, overall, as you heard from the mayor, we have about 25% of the city that still hasn't received a first dose and about 50% of people left to get a second dose and be fully vaccinated. Right now, the single biggest risk to your health is not being vaccinated. Both mRNA vaccines offer you equally strong protection and a safe pathway forward into life in reopening. We're at a point in the pandemic where Toronto is in two places at once. The progress in vaccination we've made is making a difference. We're healthier, we're safer, and we're sustaining the momentum toward more and more reopening. 